We are. I'm not even kidding. Good dog. Bring that bird here. Bring that bird here. Come, girl. Come. Oh my gosh, I think I got three. <laughs> and I was gonna just say where, there's the truck. I'm 50 yards from the truck. I think I just got three grouse. I didn't even turn the tactic cam on. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that. Good dog, get those birds, get those birds. Oh, here's one. And that was the last one I shot. Oh, the dog, the dog retrieved it, brought it back to me, and, uh, well, you hear that? Either a truck or a four-wheeler on the main road, and, uh, she spit it out and it got up and started running, so I did shoot that one a second time on the ground. Here's the first one I shot. Oh, flying. And then I shot uh, another one that's up here. So let's see if we can find it. Come, girl. Come. Got it. Good dog. Get that bird. Uh, did you find that bird? Did you find that bird, huh? Oh, look at that. There we go. Three grouse, 50 yards from the truck this morning. And there was like five or six grouse sitting together again. I shot the first one. The second one got up, I shot that one. Um, you know, I dropped him back here about 20 yards off the trail. And I waited, let the dog come back. She retrieved, was retrieving the first bird and another bird jumped up. And I was trying to reload my gun and another bird jumped up. And I missed that one crossing the trail. And then another bird jumped up, went straight away and I got that one. Um, I should have probably had the one crossing the trail too. I was a little behind that one, but the three that flew straight away back into the woods, I got all three of them. So I'm not even sure how many shots I fired there cause I had to drop the phone and just, I don't know, crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, what a, what a, what a start to the morning. So we're going to, we're going to keep walking and boy, we're, uh, 830 in the morning and we got three grouse. One other thing quick. Um, I am superstitious a little bit when it comes to my hunting. I did not shoot so hot last weekend with the over under. So brought out the old 870 wing master. And I will just say, you know, I love this gun. This gun was my high school graduation present. My parents gave it to me when I graduated high school. And it was my only shotgun for quite a few years. I hunted grouse. I hunted pheasant. I hunted ducks and geese. Uh, I even shot a few turkeys with this gun over the years um, before I won a little 870 uh, uh, Express 20 gauge. And then I turned that into my grouse gun and still continue to use this gun for just about everything else. But uh, I just figured with some bad luck and not shooting so well last weekend, it was time to switch things up just a little bit. And uh, boy, I was dead on. Uh, I'm shooting seven and a half shot, uh, ounce and an eighth loads. So not crazy heavy loads, but a little bigger than what I was shooting last week and as far as the weight to the load. Um, but it is October 14th and I can't believe we're halfway through October this weekend. Um, a month just goes by too fast. I don't feel like I've done nearly enough hunting. I've been out every weekend, but I just haven't got the 
haven't got really much time during the week at all this year. Uh, my son played on the football team, and now hockey started this week. So last night we had to head out of town for the first scrimmage of the year, and um, just really busy. So this time on the weekend, I oh, I really enjoy it, and you know, time just gets by too fast because I just like I said, I can't believe we're almost halfway through October, but uh, cover is mostly down. Uh, with the exception of up high, those leaves are still hanging on a little bit, but your grouse shooting should be phenomenal this weekend. So I'm going to put this camera away and we're going to get back to business. Well. Come. Oh my gosh guys i we're limited out baby we are limited out come on now at a girl at a girl oh my gosh look at this beauty oh, 15 yards in off the trail that is gross number five i didn't turn the tack cam on i was just filming the dog work and this one jumped up. I there, I know there was a other flush too, because I heard a real light light flush, and then I heard the peeping. And when they start making that peeping noise, it means they're nervous they're gonna fly. So I, I heard just a real light flush, then I heard the peeping, and then this bird jumped up, and oh my gosh. We got five girls, and I apologize. I've got zero on camera, zero. Um. Oh, them first groups, they jumped right next to the truck. I was just, I wasn't ready. The dog was, she had hit scent right at the bumper of the truck and she acted really hot. And then she crossed the trail to the other side, no big deal. And then uh, she was, was over on the other side of the trail and I kind of stopped and the bird flushed off my right. And I swung and I shot the first bird. And... I don't remember if I started to get my camera out, but then the second bird flushed and I shot that bird. Then I was gonna, you know, kind of paused, waited, and all came to make that first retrieve. I was gonna um, just retrieve, uh, film her retrieving a little bit. And third bird jumped, fourth bird jumped. I missed the fourth bird. Fifth bird jumped, I got the fifth bird. And then she brought it back and uh, spit it out to go after the different bird. And that thing jumped up and started running. So I must have just broke its wing. Um, so then I did shoot that bird on the ground. She was over making a different retrieve, but found all three of them. I wanted to go after woodcock. And uh, I kept pushing into the woodcock zone. She kept pushing back into the heavier slashing. We flushed another one. And we flushed another one. We got our fourth bird. That was not a bird I was ready for it to go again. Um, and then I tried to turn my camera on. I did miss one woodcock. And, uh, my gosh, we're, I don't think we're 300 yards from the truck. We're limited out. We got five grouse. I really want to go after woodcock. Um, I flushed a pile of woodcock all the way at the end of this trail. And then another over a quarter, probably not quite half a mile off the end of this trail, an area that I found held a bunch of birds. 
So the fact of the matter is, do I want to walk? I don't even know how far that is from here. Two miles? My, mile and a half to get back into the woodcock zone, or do we just walk back to the truck and uh, go hit another spot that I know has woodcock? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the truck. So we got five grouse. What a, what a ridiculous morning. I don't know what time it is. My guess, 9.15, first trail. Um, obviously, we went off trail for a little ways, came back to the trail, but we're 300 yards down the trail. So I'm going to run the Tacticam when we get into the woodcock spot, but we're going to go back to the truck and we're going to drive to uh, some areas that I know hold woodcock. All right, spot number two for woodcock. Uh, we're right off of Blacktop Road here. That last spot, I walked full of woodcock last weekend. Didn't flush a single bird. Um, so I don't know if that means the heavy winds yesterday pushed the birds out of the state. And like I said, it was like northeast winds, which, you know, you don't get a lot of northeast winds over the course of a fall. So I don't know if that uh, just blew the birds out and didn't bring any more in. Um, but this spot back here, there's a lake and a creek full of water. Um, and then this real young aspen. It is a perfect spot to find birds if they are around. Um, I have never hunted it before. This is a brand new spot for me, but um, that's just a really good tip. If you are grouse or woodcock hunting, you can't just pound the same spots over and over and over again um, because eventually the stuff gets too mature. The birds move on. You got to find new spots. So this is a brand new spot. Never been here. Um, we're going to check it out. Grouse up in a tree over here. one oh we got a woodcock <laughs> we flushed another grouse went right into a tree and i was trying to film that and a woodcock went up and uh i didn't get that one on i couldn't even get a shot i was just holding the camera but that is the first woodcock uh second one we flushed so as we get closer to the creek here i think we're gonna flush more Bring it here, bring it here. Good girl. There we got one. Woodcock number two. All right, woodcock number two. Um, you can hear the vehicles. I mean, we are right next to a blacktop road and I've missed one in here, flushed two others I haven't been able to see, and we've got two. So we get one more woodcock, we're done. All right, guys, we're back home. We did find two woodcock. It is 10.30 in the morning. Um, I know I could hit another spot and probably find more woodcock, but uh, my son has hockey here this afternoon, and I mean, I don't want to push it. It was just as good of a morning as we could have asked for. I was limited out on grouse by 9.02 is what time it was when I checked my phone. Um, the first woodcock spot we hit, had nothing in it um, last weekend full of birds this weekend not a single flush um, it's a half hour walk at the very most and just, just were no birds in there so we went and tried another spot that i've never hunted before and we did pull two more woodcock out of that spot i missed one out of that spot flushed a couple others that i just couldn't get up and get on them um 
but whoa, what a difference from last Sunday. Last Sunday, I, I went through a box of shells and I could not hit a bird. Today, every time I pointed my shotgun, they fell. And not every time, but uh, I shot five grouse and I only missed one. Uh, the one I missed was a crossing shot and I was behind it a little bit, but just got incredibly lucky. The birds were flushing straight away from me, easy shooting, and I hammered them. Um, I did miss two woodcock. Um, <laughs> both of the woodcock I missed, I literally cut trees in half when I shot. So the majority of my load went into, into some aspens and did not get did not get the uh, the woodcock I was shooting at, um, but just what a morning. Um, and then I can admit when I'm wrong, you know, I'm an adult. I tell our kids, you know, if you make a mistake, you gotta admit when you're wrong. And about three weeks ago, I said, the numbers are good, the numbers are up, but the numbers are not crazy. It is not unusual for me to flush pretty good numbers the first two weekends. The cover's thick, the four-wheelers, they can't see anything. Um, the traffic's not as heavy, and I do flush a lot of birds. Um, but usually what happens is once the cover drops, once the four-wheelers have pounded the trails hard, the road's hard, um, the birds just disappear um, from the trails. And, you know, I get off, I walk, I find birds. But I'm just, I'm continuing to put up big numbers. Uh, the, the just like there's been no traffic is what it seems like there's been a ton of traffic I shouldn't be seeing birds on the trail and I am um, I got I got some film here uh, one just sitting right in the middle of the trail and I just drove my truck slowly at it I got 15 yards from it before it flew um, back in the woodcock spot I could have shot at least one more flying a very easy flying shot fluttered right back at me if I wasn't standing there it probably would have landed again um, and then she put another one up in a tree that I tried to film so I don't know if I got that one on film um, and then another one when we were walking out flushed right down the middle of the trail um, I mean honestly by 10 30 I should very easily could have had eight or nine grouse. Um, if I would have took a hunt till noon, I could have had 10. Your limit's five though, and that's where we stop. And your possession limit's 10, so we can go out and get five more grouse tomorrow. Um, and then we gotta fry them all up and eat them, which is kind of an interesting point here. We got a lot of grouse this year. I don't like freezing grouse. Um, I I don't know, they just, they go in the freezer, they get freezer burnt, you, they get buried under, you know, deer season comes up in November, they get buried under 50 pounds of venison. So I, every Sunday night, fry up the grouse we get for that weekend. Um, I don't know, I, just, I like doing it. They're, they're great to eat. I eat some on Sunday night, I take what's left to work with me for leftovers and uh we've been doing that all season frying up our grouse that way i don't ever have to worry about being over my limit or having too many birds sitting in the fridge um i can go out and hunt saturday i can go out and hunt sunday and if you know lightning strikes and i get my limit both days uh i'm fine i just need to fry up birds but uh what a morning what a morning what a morning all right we'll see you back in the woods uh tomorrow and i don't know maybe i'll be able to get the tacticam on and get some film tomorrow because i didn't do a very good job of that today